Followers of Chaos, we have finally been rewarded with the new Slaves to Darkness battle trailer for Age of Sigmar. And something equally awesome that dropped alongside this was the new Start Collecting Slaves to Darkness. Now, this is quite an unusual Start Collecting box in the sense, well, two reasons really. Every single model in this set is new and they are all um, push fit, easy to build models, which Outside of the Shadow Spear reboxed um, stock collecting sets for 40k, we've not really seen anything like this, which is really cool. Um, I do wonder if this is a sign of things to come for future stock collecting boxes, where you get some kind of unique bespoke models in this, and then later down the line they get released separately. Who knows? But yeah, they look really, really cool. I mean, looking at the pictures on the back of the box. They are some seriously ace Chaos Knights and Chaos Warriors. Which, you know, to be fair, they had dated a little bit, the old ones. Um, these are in a completely different league. So let's uh, open this up and have a nosy to see what we get. So, first of all, we've got the full instructions telling us how to build these kits. Uh, interestingly, flicking through this, there are a few different options. So you've got multiple heads for the commander. And a lot of the other models, which are the Chaos Warriors, have a couple of heads each. I think each build has got a couple of variants, which is um, nice to see, considering they're, you know, push fit models. But yeah, let's get onto the models and see what they look like. So, first of all, we have the big old Chaos Lord on his big lizard. Cat or something, is he called? Something like that. It looks really cool. This is going to be one of the uh, the nicest character models they've put out, and to have a big chunky model like this in a stock collecting box is really cool as well. Uh, really looking forward to painting up this guy. I know uh, the fellow Sprue and Brewer Jay is uh, keen to start a Slaves of Darkness army on the strength of this model alone, and yeah, it's really really cool. So many cool details on it, awesome big axy thing. Yeah, really like that. So next up. We have three sprues, I believe, for the Chaos Knights. Now, interestingly, these are all on separate frames. Now, I did think being an easy build kind of kit, that all the sprues would be intermingled. These are separate, so there is potential that these get released later down the line as individual kits, which uh, are quite interesting, maybe worth keeping an eye on that. But yeah, these Chaos Knights are really, really gorgeous models. So many cool details on them. The Lancers look ace. Yeah. I think if you're going to do a kind of Chaos Warrior and Knight Heavy list, can't go too wrong picking up a couple of these boxes. But yeah, really looking forward to painting these. I've got a few of the old Chaos Knights that um, are kind of undercoated and not built yet. <laughs> um, these guys look so much nicer compared to them. I think I'll keep both of them to, to have some variety in the army. But for people new to the army, yeah, pick up this set. And finally, we have the Sprue of Chaos Warriors. All really dynamic, all in kind of unique poses. And because it's uh, not a duplicated frame, like you get in a lot of the easy build sets, every model has got a unique pose, which is really, really cool to see. Uh, and for a push fit kit as well, I, th I think that's really ace. This is the kind of stuff that we traditionally see in like a, a starter set. So yeah, I do I, I do kind of hope we see this for kind of every army going forward because it's a really quick and easy way to put together your army. But yeah, that is a quick look at the new Start Collecting Slaves to Darkness. We will be doing some content on this and uh, I'm sure Archeon will be seeing the battlefield soon. So uh, we will see you then.